I think COVID is a gift. And I know people would be throwing rocks at me, but that's okay. Because I think COVID was, the meaning of COVID was to slow people down and to make them pay attention to the things they weren't paying attention to before. And we have been, we have been struggling and we have been going in the, the wrong direction for a long time. And I think that because COVID slowed everything down and stopped things, I think it gave us all a chance to evaluate where we are in our life and what, you know, are we living the life we wanna live? Are we with the person we want to be with? Or did we just, we don't look at the other side of things. We only look at what we do. We only look at things from our perspective. But if we change our perspective, that like that's one of the greatest gifts we can have. You can only see things from the direction you're looking. And if you want to see it differently, then change it. Change where you're standing. And And really quick, Kimberly, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I want to really hit on that sentiment of what you're expressing right now because the idea or the framing of the this concept of perception comes up more often you know than i would have imagined and i think it every experience is is viewed one of two ways it can be anything Mm -hmm. if when you if you eat a peanut butter sandwich it can be like for me the most delicious thing in the world (laughs) or it can be the most disgusting thing right so Mm -hmm. so i didn't mean to interrupt you but i just i think it's so important this whole framing of perception because again going back to your story it's like okay do i take this thing that really was dragging me down in a certain way that was negative in my life how do i how do i shift that into something that could be ultimately where you are now in this year of 2021 where you're giving something back to people and empowering them in a very beautiful way yeah well perspective is like it's a great thing right but again for me i was you know my perspective from from that angle was that I was happy and, you know, I had two children and a marriage and all that. But when, when my perspective changed, meaning when I realized that I wasn't really being who I was meant to be, or maybe not as much of who I was meant to be, then I had to find a way to be completely grateful for that, but as well grateful for the you know, for the chance to grow more. And I think that's really what it is for me is that, you know, I've, I've had the chance to grow and to become more of what I, of who I am. And I think people get caught up in, so from their perspective, I always said to people, you know, you might not be able to see the lighthouse from your perspective, but if you want to see it from a different perspective, walk around, right? And I think that that's, we stay where we're at because we're afraid. If I move to the other side and I see a different perspective, it, then what if I want that? What if I, and that changing means that I'm not going to be the same anymore. And who am I going to be if I change? Well, if you don't have the courage to move to that angle, you're not going to see it from a different perspective. It's the same way when we can't relate to somebody that's really lived a hard life or had a lot of hard things happen to them perspective is everything because we have to be able to see from their point of view and if we can't then our perspective is very small right and how much and this might be a very simplistic question in a, in a way but i think it's an important one how, how much do you think we really overcomplicate our life because i think perception if discovered or if arrived at in the correct way can bring something beautiful that i like to term as clarity in a personal way clarity to me has meant that once i know what should be in and not be in in my own personal experience of life the the feeling of clarity is like the feeling of relief and the weight off your shoulders and your chest that's what clarity means to me is it's almost like a a filtration phase right are we trying to take in too much all the time are we trying to you know figure things or people out too much all the time and get confused Are, are like are we really spreading our energy so thin 
with information, with news, with people, with circumstances, with gossip, with da da da. You know, I could have a laundry list of these things. But are we spreading ourselves so thin that the clarity doesn't really attune to our true inner selves in a way that can give us just, you know, a, a, a certain bliss that I think we all desire? I, I I would have to say yes, because one of my things is I always say contrast creates clarity. So sometimes we need the contrast, right? right? Like COVID. Right. And it's as simple as this. We as human beings are, are running 150 miles an hour with blindfolders on and we're not paying attention to anything that's like important. We're missing all the big stuff, right? So with the contrast of COVID, comes the clarity what did we see last year we seen it it was a heavy energy and it's heavier now because it's it's kind of shifted but last year we seen more people out walking more people enjoying the beach more people gardening and you know what even when i went into the stores because i bought a greenhouse myself they said they're not they're spending people are still spending just as much money but they're spending it differently so the contrast of never having the time, COVID gave people the time. So the clarity was a lot of people figured out that they really wanted to appreciate life more. So they did get back to earth. They did do things like planting and stuff. So the clarity was a lot of people realized that they weren't living life the way they wanted to and they made the changes, but people are suffering because they didn't make that, that change. So their perspective didn't change even though the universe has been given people a massive clarity, right? Mm -hmm. we, we've been given this incredible gift of perspective, but you can't get people to pay attention to that if they don't have what it takes to pay attention to that. And not everybody has the gift of awareness or even to have a space to talk. And, and to even the way you and I are, we're just talking about stuff and a lot of people are going to listen and some people will love it and some people won't, you know, won't like it at all. But that's the whole point of life is that perspective is a gift. Perspective is something that if people can understand, if they could just take themselves out of where they are to the other person's life, right? So if we can have any kind of awareness to say, hey, you know, I, I want you to understand from my perspective, but there's too much about power and control today. So everybody has to have things their way or they can't even hear you. I mean, I, you know, my clients come in and they'll talk to me and, and it could be something simple, like they can't find enough time to enjoy each other at night. Well, from my perspective i'll ask them a bunch of questions so what's the issue where you know how come you can't find time and they're like well by the time i work full time come home take care of the kids blah 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 and i'll say well okay but what if what if you said to your husband i'm sure your husband would much sooner have a new perspective through your eyes right so that you could have the awareness to say hey um, I would love to spend time with you tonight. So how about you make supper, I'll get the kids homework done, and then we'll both put the kids in the tub and, and put them to bed and then we'll have time together. But people are afraid to ask the question, right? And they're afraid to have a different perspective because they're holding on to theirs for dear life for fear of what it means to have a different outlook on things. Mm -hmm.